Hey guys, I'm Alan from Premiere Pro Tips and welcome to another video tutorial. Um, this one is a viewer requested one by someone who goes by the name of Ox or Junkie, so thank you. And uh, it's about how to fade out an overlay. And I apologize for the Skype notifications that are coming up on my screen right now. <laughs> oh yeah, but that's actually another good thing. If, if there's something that you might need like individual help with or something like that, you know, something super specific, then I could always... Uh, show you on Skype by like sharing screens and stuff but that's beside the point for this tutorial um, so this one's about how to fade out and overlay um, now dip to black works for um, for several re uh, several purposes but only when your background is black right so for instance um, all I did was make a little title here titles act the same way that overlays do titles are actually sort of an overlay so I just have this little thing here that says subscribe you know hint hint but um but so if I were to add dip to black to this for instance this is I'm showing you why it won't work like if I were to use dip to black press play and see it does that weird that's not what we want instead we want it we want the uh we want the overlay to uh, go clear, sort of like, you know, adjust the opacity, not just go to black. So, um, in order to do this, you're going to have to click on your overlay, and then we're going to have to keyframe it. Um, so, we're going to be under the opacity um, tab. And uh, usually, opacity, for some reason, like, this is how it'll look when you press the drop down the opacity toggle animation button will be pressed but there won't be a keyframe here so I have no idea why that is so you have to unclick it once and then click it again in order for this keyframe right here that little diamond to pop up okay so we're at the first frame right so right now this is how to fade in so we're at the first frame and in the very first frame we're gonna wanna have zero opacity right so as you can see it's made it invisible also clear however you want to call it and then you're gonna go to whatever point that you want it to fade in for it to like be completely faded in to be a hundred percent and then you're just gonna click up here and go to a hundred percent so I'm, I'm just gonna zoom in on this really quickly right here so as you can see it starts at zero and then this is probably you know a couple seconds in and it's at 100. So this value is 100, this one is 0, and when you keyframe it, it, uh, it automatically adjusts as you see. Just like that. Um, so it's basically the same deal to fade out, except it's sort of like the opposite, I guess. Um, so I'm just going to go to the point where I want it to be at, um, where I want it to start fading out. And then, um, and then you need this to be a hundred right here as well. So, uh, it's sort of hard to explain this, but um, since we already have an a hundred point here, you need to press this. You need to press Add slash Remove Keyframe. What this does is it places like sort of like a benchmark. I don't know if that's the right word, but it basic because if I were to just only place like a hundred or zero at the very last frame like something like that then and if I didn't add this extra one here as you can see it starts shifting from a hundred to zero right right here at the beginning which we don't want you know we don't want it to be that long fade instead we want it to be a short fade so in order for um, for it to maintain its speed right here you want this to be at a hundred so so to sort of clarify this, in the beginning it starts off at zero. From here to here, it fades in, so it goes from zero to a hundred, and then from this point to this point, it remains a hundred because this point is set at a hundred, and this one is also set at a hundred. So there's no change. And then the very last keyframe, which is also on the last frame, is set to zero. Um, so that gives you the fade out type of effect. So I'm just really quickly gonna play this. 
So right now it's at 100, and it's remaining at 100. It's in that zone between the two 100s. And then there, it fades out. So that's how uh, that's how you do that. And that and this this trick for fading, because what I find is like even when um, even when I'm fading in and out stuff, and there's a black screen behind it. Sometimes I find that dip to black sometimes doesn't always work the way that I want it to. So sometimes I do have to use this opacity. Um, I have to keyframe the opacity to get it um, exactly how I want it. So yeah, th that's uh, so that's how to um, that's how to why can't I think of the word how to fade out an overlay. Um, I know if this stuff is sort of tricky. And um, if it wasn't clear, maybe check out another tutorial that I made called, uh, I think it's just like keyframing tutorial or something like that. And that just gives you the general idea. But in, in general, like keyframing is basically um, animating either an effect. Yeah, animating an effect, basically. Um, and in this case, it was opacity. So, um, I understand that this might not have been, like, the most clear. I tried to explain it the best way I could, but it's sort of tough. So, if you guys do have any questions, please feel free. Um, leave it, leave a question in the comments, or you can private message me. Or if you, um, or if you want to just, uh, you know, me to sit down one-on-one -on -one and go over it with you on like over Skype or something like that. I'm also willing to do that. Just uh just send me a private message um with your Skype name and uh yeah. So that's how to uh how to change the opacity or fade in or fade out um an overlay and if you find it helpful please like the video. Uh what else? Subscribe for more. Hint hint. But um yeah thanks for watching guys. I'm Alan from Premiere Pro Tips. Thanks for watching.